To see you both grow into human beings who just live life, cherishing every moment. That's a partner to keep. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone who is here today. Everyone in this room has been a very important part of our lives, shaping Vicky and myself into the individuals that we are today. Um, well, when I was thinking about writing this speech and what to write, I was thinking about how could I write something that fully embodies John. <laughs> John is a human who's caring and thoughtful and wonderful um, and has a fun side to him that shows in all of his relationships. Vicky. Do you remember what you would say to me before making the drive from Monrovia to Marina del Rey on the weekends when we first started dating? You said, I'll come find you. I remember noting it at the time because the word find struck out to me. For me, I've always associated finding with something lost or missing. Now that we've been together for five years, I can honestly say that I'm so glad that we found each other because you really are what's missing from my life. When John and Vicky first began dating, um, I remember him coming to me just for some dating advice and like tips and tricks and seeing him excited and nervous and scared but filled with so much joy. Um, and to see you both sitting there now, um, I would say John found a person who compliments him but not only in his positive qualities. You know, Vicky, you're caring, and you're thoughtful, and you challenge him, and you grow with him, and you teach him, and you make him a better person. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration. And now we stand with John Wen and Vicky on the day they intend to form a home of their own. I've never seen Vicky so happy and excited as she is with John. I'm thrilled she has found someone who compliments her so well. As I reflect the last five years of our relationship, I'm so grateful we met, fell in love, endured while this since relationship during COVID, decided it was time to move in together to start a new chapter of our lives as a married couple.
You have the biggest heart. I notice all the little things that you do for me and it means a lot. I adore your love and kindness to people. You care about me, my family, and friends. You always want the best for us. I notice it all and I want you to know I feel your love for me and I'm so lucky to be with you. A partner who does life with you, a partner you joke around with, a partner that helps you through the tough times, a partner who listens through the hard parts and mundane parts and the sad parts. That's a partner to keep. John Wynn, take you, Vicky, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now I declare both of you as wife and husband, so now you may kiss each other with a holy kiss. Vicky and I have known each other for about 18 years now, since the fifth grade to be precise. So reasonably, I wanted Vicky's forever person to be incredible for her. When Vicky first told me about John, I was skeptical, <laughs> just because the relationship was so new. But as time progressed, and the more Vicky told me about John, how great he is to her and how well they clicked, I was like, okay, okay, maybe, maybe he is the right person for her. John is supportive and generous. John is also extremely humble and caring, but also have the ability to trash talk you at any given moment. I mean, John could trash talk you at a game of Tetris, in chess even. Just like really low boss stuff, really gets into your head. Now, Vicky has taught me a lot of things growing up, but most importantly, Vicky taught me what it takes to be a true friend. I am so honored to be by her side today through her grand milestone. I would like to send them my blessings to an ever beautiful and sumptuous new chapter together to Vicky and John. So let's raise a glass to my brother and my sister, who loves hard and celebrates harder, to John and Vicky, congratulations.